Hi there, it's Nicole from Crypto Corner, and today we are going to be unboxing the new Trezor Safe 3. Now, it's called Safe 3 because Trezor, who is the original manufacturer of hardware wallets all throughout the world, has had two models before. They've had the Trezor Model 1, actually they still have, <laughs> and they have the Model T LCD screen, right? So this one, the LCD one is a bit bigger than the Model 1. You can see that here, and that's primarily because it has a screen, that a touch screen that you need to be able to maneuver everything on. So why is it safe three? Because all three models are safe, so it doesn't matter which one you purchase, uh, you are protecting your hardware wallet. Just the Safe 3 is the safest one of them all because it's got a couple of extra security features on it that the Model 1 and the Trezor T do not have, but they're still great hardware wallets. So today we're going to unbox the Trezor Safe 3 and see how it compares to the other models as well. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. So here is the Trezor Safe 3. It's still currently in its cellophane wrap. So for those of you who like this kind of unboxing, we are going to take that off. And okay, so here we go. And here is the box. It's green, I think it's actually in a recycled cardboard, so it is green in that sense as well. And let's see if we can open this up. Oh, here we go. It's got a tab that we must do this. And here we go, Trezor Safe 3. Open this little guy here. Now with the Trezor Safe 3, it actually comes in four colors. You can get it in either Cosmic Black, Stellar Silver, Galactic Rose, and Solar Gold. Now I actually got one of these colors. We're gonna find out in a little bit, but here is the Trezor Safe 3. It's got some wrapping on it. You can kind of see that you can't see the, the screen display yet. That's the front and that's the back. Now the front, Trezor actually took uh, feedback from their other two models. And so this model is a combination of the feedback that they got from the community. Uh, and they put the best of all of it in this one little device. So they've gone back to the two buttons with the from the Model 1 and got rid of the LCD touchscreen from the Model T uh, because I guess that was the feedback. I do know that with the Model T uh, myself, uh, sometimes I would push the wrong buttons. The screen wasn't big enough for my fingers. <laughs> so in this package, we've got a getting started little package and we've got the USB connector. So this is a USB-C connector. So if you have a computer, that has that, you'll be able to connect it automatically. All the newer computers are coming out with that, that connection. If you don't have one, you're gonna need an adapter. Now in the getting started, let's open this up. All right, so in the getting started, we've got some stickers. I love Bitcoin. And we've got a getting started package, which is great. It'll actually give you the website to go to, to download the Trezor suite, which is the software application that you need to work the Trezor. Um, but it'll give you all the step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, it's got two recovery seeds sheets, which you would write down your 12 word recovery phrase on here. And on the back, you can even put your PIN number as well. It's completely safe to keep those on the same 
because, you know, honestly, if this were to get stolen by any chance, if a thief has your recovery seed, they don't need your pen anyways. They've got your recovery seed. They just have to factory reset it and put in their own new pin. So it doesn't matter if you have the recovery seed and your pin together on the same sheet. You just want to write down that recovery seed and keep it in a very safe place. Okay, so now here's the treasure. It's got this little sticker, so we're gonna peel this guy off. And you can see I got the gold one. And I like the gold one idea because it was the idea that Bitcoin is digital gold. So that was my philosophy on that one. And so we peel that off. And you can see here, it's a really lovely LCD screen, a little bit fuller than the Model 1. Let's compare them right now. So they're about the same size. You can see same height. Uh, the screen's a little bit sexier, a little bit fuller. So they've streamlined it a little bit. But uh, let's see. It is about the same width even. Um, this one might even be a tad, tad bigger, tad wider. But they are the same width. So it is pretty much the same size as the Model 1. And the other, th it's very lightweight, so easy to carry around with you or travel with you anywhere you go. So it's got the little treasure symbol on the back, which I love. So what's different about the Safe 3 and why is it more secure than the Model 1 or the Trezor Model T? Well, in this model, they have included what they call an EAL6 secure element chip in it. Now, all of the Trezors have computer chips in them. Um, this one's a little bit more secure. So a while ago, um, years and years ago, there was a hack on Trezor. The hack entailed um, actually having your physical device. So if you lost it and, and somebody actually had it, they would also need uh, a very, you know, special hardware to actually be able to connect it to this. And they were are able to take your recovery seed or uncover your recovery seed and get access to your crypto. Now, there is a caveat to that. If you have a hidden passphrase, which is essentially you add an extra recovery word to the end of your recovery seed, they could not hack it because that wasn't able to be uncovered with that. So with this one, they've made it even more secure so that if somebody does have a device like that, it's even harder to get that recovery seed. The one thing that I do know is that if you do have own a treasure and it happens to get stolen by somebody who happens to have this particularly um, rare device that can uncover and un unhack your recovery seed from your treasure hardware wallet, which is very unlikely, if you have a hidden passphrase on it, which is adding one extra word onto your recovery seed, they cannot get access to it. So I would always recommend to use a recovery seed. This, this has actually got a little hologram sticker on the bottom here. You can see that. If uh, this is an extra security layer as well, when you purchase it new, you're gonna wanna peel this off. But if your device does not have this, then you're probably going to want to return it and request a new one. So I've just taken that off. And uh, the other additional check that they have with this is when we go to set this up, they will actually authenticate it on the website. And that's just to make sure that you've got that extra security to know that your Trezor hardware wallet is authentic and it's safe to go ahead and put crypto on it. So with the Element chip, it 
protects your physical device, right, from if it does get stolen from anybody who has that special hardware uh, where they can uh, yeah, uncover it. So this element chip protects it. It's safer that way. Uh, the second way it protects it, it protects your PIN number. You know, it doesn't learn your PIN number. Uh, so if anybody were to try to uncover your PIN number, that would be impossible. And the third way this element chip secures your crypto is that Trezor uses fully open source chips and software and hardware. They're fully open source. There's a lot of other hardware wallets out there that will have chips in them, but they don't disclose or they make it hard to find out that their software or their chip is not open source, which means it's closed source and it is they have access to it or it's hackable or it's just not private, right? Trezor is great with privacy. They have been since day one, keeping your crypto safe and keeping it private. And they are the number one company in the world for that. There's no other hardware wallet that takes your privacy as seriously as Trezor does. And that's what I like about it and have always liked about Trezor. One of the other features of Trit, now this isn't a new feature at all, but is they use Tor. So when you download the, their software, which is the Trezor Suite, uh, and you open that up, you, ena you will enable the Tor. And so every time that you open up your Trezor Suite, you will have Tor automatically on your Trezor Suite, which hides your IP and gives you that additional layer of privacy. And let's face it, when we're dealing with cryptocurrency, privacy is the name of the game. It's paramount. And it's what crypto was founded on. And it's about you controlling your own wealth, your own money. And that needs to be private. Just does. The other great thing about the Trezor having a chip versus a battery is that you're, you won't have any problems with your battery failing. I mean, that's some of the problems that you know, these other hardware wallets have had, you know, people go to charge their battery to use their hardware wallet and they're having problems with that. And then they've got to solve that problem before they can even access their crypto. It just becomes a hassle. So this actually, you will plug right in with the USB-C and then it plugs into your computer. Um, I like that it's hardwired and it doesn't have a Bluetooth option. That is actually a security feature as far as I'm concerned. Um, anything that's wireless and that has to go online is not secure, it's not private. So this is more secure, having it connected directly to your computer, and that's just the way to go. The other security feature that I like about Trezor and this Safe 3 is that you back it up with your 12 word recovery phrase or you also have the option of doing the Shamir backup, which that is available on the Model T as well, which is the LCD. Uh, it's not available on the Model 1, the Shamir backup. You can only do the standard backup recovery phrase with the Model 1. But what the Shamir offers you is that it's a multi-sig backup. So, and that's huge. And you independently control it. You know, there's no third party that's going to know it or there's no company, you know, Trezor isn't putting themselves in the middle and saying, you know, we'll, you know, back it up for you if you ever forget it or what have you. You know, they're letting you be your own bank and, and be responsible for your own crypto and your own wealth. And that's what privacy is all about. And the foundation of crypto has been built on. So what the Shamir backup is, is essentially, it's like creating multiple recovery seeds. So you can, instead of just having one 12 word recovery seed, you can create, I think it's up to six. Um, it could be more, I can't remember. So you can create multiple recovery seeds and then you can tell your Trezor hardware wallet that you want, let's say you create five recovery seeds and you store those all in different trusted locations. You can have set up your Trezor wallet so that it only needs three of those. If you were to either have to reset your Trezor or you lost one, 
it's not a big deal anymore, right? Because if you lose one, you've got five and you only need three to recover your hardware wallet. So there's great security and safety in that because everybody's worried that they're going to lose their recovery seed or it gets lost in a move or um, it, maybe it gets stolen. They're worried about thefts and stuff. So it's like, where do you keep your, your recovery seeds? So what's nice with this is that you can give it to somebody that you trust, like a, a family member, but if they only have one of them, it's okay, they can't do anything with it, right? Because they need two more to recover your crypto. What's nice for me is, you know, Andy and I are traveling a lot all around the world, and I was always worried that, you know, I could lose that recovery seed while we were traveling. And now I don't really have to worry about it because I've only got one. And if I lose it, that's fine because nobody can do anything with the one they need two more and if I lose it I can call somebody else and get it that way or you know go to the locations where I know I'm keeping those recovery seeds and recover my crypto I know that it's still safe because if I've got five and I lose one I've still got four more that I can use I mean God forbid you have a house fire and you've saved your recovery phrase in the house that catches fire and that's your only copy you know, that's why we stress that you should have it at least two locations. What I like about this is it gives you a whole new level of security that is just, it's more reassuring for me and safer for me, especially when I am traveling and, you know, travel is could be risky when you're just traveling around with one recovery seed, right? So I just, I really love the Shamir backup and Trezor is so far the only hardware wallet that offers that. So thank you Trezor for bringing such a genius backup recovery option to hardware wallets because it is a godsend to feel safe about everything that I do with my crypto now and how I backed it up. Okay, so one of the new features that the Safe 3 has over the two other models is that now you can enter, we talked about how you can add a hidden passphrase at the end of your recovery seed. Instead of having a 12 word recovery seed, you essentially now have a 13 word recovery phrase. And you will use every time you log into the Trezor Suite to access your crypto, to log in, you will enter that hidden passphrase. Well, before, we've always had to enter it in on the computer, which really isn't the safest option. So now with the Safe 3, you have the option to do the same thing. You can enter it in on the computer if that's more convenient for you, or you can enter it in on your actual device. So with these buttons. Now it will take longer, obviously, entering it on the device, but it's a lot safer because now that you know hidden passphrase has no access to the online world at all. So if you've written it down on a piece of paper and you haven't written it down digitally and it's been nowhere on the online world, you wanna keep it safe and just take that little extra time and enter your passphrase on your device. After all, that's going to be the safest option. The Trezor Safe 3 is only $79, so it's great for all of the crypto enthusiast budgets. If you are going to invest in cryptocurrency, even if you're a you know five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, what is seventy nine dollars to make sure and ensure that your cryptocurrency is safe from hackers? Whatever you do, do not keep your cryptocurrency on the platform, the exchange that you purchased it from. There are so many friends of ours that they they've lost their crypto simply because they thought they were with a company that was so big, uh, could not fail, and it fails, and or they get hacked, you know, and they've lost, all the customers have lost all their crypto. This happens to the biggest companies. It doesn't matter. It could happen to a smaller company too. It's just not safe to keep your cryptocurrency with any exchange. Because here's the thing, the hackers are going to go after the exchanges because there's more than one customer there, right? 
a hacker typically isn't going to go after you and your little, it's too much effort for one person when they can hit an exchange that has thousands of customers and now they have access to thousands of customers cryptocurrency. So it is more worth their effort and their time to go after the exchanges. So even if a cryptocurrency exchange states that they've never been hacked before, well, that's probably the death of it right there because now they've just given the hackers a challenge. Um, but, uh, you know, if they haven't been hacked before or they've got the best security in the world and uh, I, look what happened to the Titanic, right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so no exchange is safe to keep your crypto on. It's just not. So get one of these guys. And if you do, I have an affiliate link down in the bottom. Um, I would appreciate it if you would help support our channel and uh, so that we can continue to give you free content and free good advice. I mean, we've been in this crypto space now for oh, almost a decade. You know, we got involved in 2015. We've been around a lot longer than most other YouTubers and we know a thing or two about cryptocurrency and how to safeguard it. We're able to share those tips and safeguard you from it ever happening to you if we possibly can. That is the entire goal, to keep your cryptocurrency safe. The one other thing that I love about Trezor over all other hardware wallets is that they really do value your privacy. I've mentioned it a couple times. One of those examples is that after you've purchased your Trezor hardware wallet, they will anonymize or, and delete your personal information that you've given to them 90 days after purchase. So they, they don't have access to where it was delivered, your name, your credit card information, all of that is no longer after 90 days after purchase. Tell me a other company that does that. You know, Ledger's hacks, most of the time it's customer data, customer information. One of their hacks was exactly that. Hackers had information to everybody who had purchased a Ledger device and they had their name and their address. Great. <laughs> it's just not something you want a hacker to know about. So <laughs> they can't do that at Trezor. Well, I guess they could do it up to 90 days, but so get it purchased today and get that 90 days rolling now. <laughs> So there you have it. I've given you nine reasons why you should purchase a Trezor Safe 3 today and use that as your hardware wallet for the future. Trezor doesn't come out with a hardware wallet very often. They only have three and they've been around since 2013. So a very long time. As I said, they were the first people to ever come out with a hardware wallet and I love their products and I love what they stand for and cryptocurrency is meant to be private and it's meant to be secure and those are the two things that Trezor stands for and I couldn't recommend a better hardware wallet really the best so if you are looking at getting a brand new Trezor and you haven't owned one before I highly recommend the Safe 3 if you can afford it or the Trezor T has a lot of the same features as the Safe 3 without the secure element chip. It has a chip in it, but it's not as secure. It doesn't have as many of the features as this one has, but still very, very, very safe. So if you would like to support this channel, I would really appreciate you using the affiliate link down below. You know, this Model 1 was the first hardware wallet I ever purchased and I still love it. It's still a good little, great little guy, but we're going to set this up and get this going. So join us for that video on the setup of our new Trezor Safe 3. And we'll start using this and see how we like this one over all the other ones. The only complaints I've ever had with the Model T is that sometimes when I'm pushing my pin number and even to log in, I get the wrong pin because I pushed the wrong number. Not a big deal, it really isn't. You just try again and they've got plenty of chances. I think they give you like 16 tries to get it right. So <laughs> you're bound to get one of those right. Um, so I've got no complaints with any of them, but I'm really excited 
to use this one and see how it compares to the other two. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and this unboxing, and we will see you on the next one. Until then, uh, be happy, be safe with your crypto, and be prosperous. Take care.